Welcome to Total Recall Part 4. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. You can find me here at Flurn because we make awesome videos to help you with Photoshop and photography. This is our Total Recall series. We're showing you everything from how to light the image, how to get the composition, the elements you need to do, and we're Photoshopping our way through it. So part four is today. You can check out the other parts. We hit some huge goals here at Flurn. Today, we're gonna hit 8,000 Facebook likes on our fan page, which is a big deal, because in at the end of uh, June, we were at like 4,500, so we've grown a lot in July. We've hit all kinds of traffic goals and really cool stuff, so we're growing, and everything's going so well here, and I hope things are going well in your life, too. If you guys are new to Flurn, um, welcome. <laughs> we have a lot of videos and a lot of content to help you guys get better, so make sure to browse around for a while. There's a lot on here. If you guys have been here from the start, I love you. This is for you. Let's do this. <laughs> I've got all these squares. If you guys remember from part two, we photographed all these squares and I'm here cutting them out. Um, I'm gonna show you, I've already cut out a, a bunch of these groups, but I'm gonna show you how we did it. Basically, here's, we've got all these um, sent out and you can download these by the way, if you wanna do the same thing. Um, we've got all our squares falling down and I'm just gonna grab my magic wand tool, choose a tolerance of 25, it's a nice round number, and just click right out here. And the reason why I'm doing this, it's a great way to be um, to select just like a pure white background. And because we did photograph these on a white background, you can see it's super easy to cut these out. You just use your magic wand tool there. And then I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask. And that's gonna make a reverse layer mask. And you can see like that was really easy. Now these are all cut out from the background. Um, if you do get an error or something like this, in this case, I'm just gonna delete that out. So I'm gonna use my brush tool, just paint black on my layer mask. So this is what my layer mask actually looks like. Super quick and easy. So you can see I've got that one. I'm just gonna hit my magic wand tool again, hold down alter option, cut that guy out. There it is, cut out again. And do the same thing for this, hold alter option, and that's cut out as well. So that's basically what I did over and over again with all these layers. All right, let's turn them all back on. There we go, and you can see all of our falling tiles, and they're all cut out, and they're all on their own background. So I'm gonna shift click all of them and hit command G. It's gonna group them together. So now what we need to do is put these guys into the other document. So because they're in a group, it's super easy. Just grab your move tool and then hold shift, click and drag from one document to another one. Holding shift just makes sure that uh, make sure is, makes sure that everything stays together and is brought in in the middle of the do other document, so it doesn't go like in the top corner or anything like that. Okay, so this is my group here. This is all of my little tiles. I don't need this guy anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. Now we're going to rotate this around. There we go, to the right. And then I'm gonna make these tiles just a little bit bigger because I feel like they could use that. So remember, these are the tiles that are supposed to be like basically coming off my head. So my head is kind of falling apart into these tiles. And I'm gonna show you guys something really sick in just a minute, um, but we're gonna go ahead and get the tiles. So you can see they're gonna, they're gonna look really great falling in place. Okay, and you kind of just decide on how big or how small you want these tiles to be. And they don't, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna do some other things that's gonna you know, change the colors and we're gonna use layer masks and things like that. So it'll look a lot better in a second. But first thing I need to do is basically just figure out how big I want these tiles to be. And I like that size. So what I wanna do is find a tile that is relatively squared onto the camera. And then I'm gonna do something really cool to kind of cut myself out of there. So figuring out about what the size is here, I'm just gonna grab my marquee tool and grab a rectangle marquee and just say, you know what, right about that size, let's just compare it out. There we go. Something like that, that size works pretty well. So this is my selection here. And what I'm gonna do now, this is really cool. It's called a step and repeat. I'm basically gonna fill this with a color and then I'm going to make a copy with it, make a copy of it, and then step it and repeat it over and over and over again. And then what I'm gonna end up with is a bunch of squares and I can just kind of delete out the ones that I want. And that's gonna make what is, you know, cutting my head out. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, first thing I wanna do is we're gonna fill this Let's just grab a green color here so we can see what we're doing. Alter option and fill with that color. Okay, now what I wanna do is I'm gonna hold down Shift Command T and that starts our step. Sorry, Option Command T. This is a little bit tricky. Option Command T or Alt Command Control T if you guys are on a uh, PC. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit the right button a couple times. I'm holding down Shift to uh, bring it over in you know increments of 10. There we go. And when we're done, I'm gonna hit enter. So what that does is it makes a copy of my of my square. So I've got a copy of the square. I hit option command T to do that. 
And now that's called the step. Now the repeat, basically it just does that exact same thing over and over and over and over again. So it makes a copy, it moves it over that much, and then you know it, it applies the transformation. So now what we're gonna do, Shift Option Command T is gonna do the repeat. So we did the step, now it's gonna do the repeat. And I, if I hit Shift Option Command T, we're gonna get another square that's right over there to the right. And I'm gonna hit that a few times until we basically scroll across my entire head. So there we go, these are all individual squares. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna click those and we'll just bring that to right about there. All right, and I'm gonna hit again, Option Command T, and now we're gonna hit the down arrow and Shift. All right, well, it looks like I can't do that, so I'm just gonna hit J. We're gonna group those together. Apparently, you can only do that with one. All right, so we're gonna hit Command G to group them together, and then just make a duplicate of that, and make another duplicate. There we go, and make another duplicate. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use these squares, I probably didn't need to make nearly this many, but I'm gonna use these squares to kinda of like figure out how I want to delete my squares away that are gonna wind up making my head. So the reason I did this like this instead of just like making random selections is because I wanted it, everything to kinda of show up in a grid. I wanted it to be like, you know, uh, the squares of, of an actual grid, and I wanted everything to be lined up. So this is why I'm doing it in this way. Um, and again, that is how the total recall image was done. So that's how we're doing our image too. All right, and we'll just do one more row here. I think that'll probably be good. Okay, now what you wanna do is you're gonna move, use your move tool. So I'm gonna hit V for my move tool. I'm gonna hit auto select here and I'm gonna choose to be layer. So now if I click on something with my auto select layer, um, I can just click on something and then hit delete and it will, you know, delete out what I don't want to be there. So I'm just clicking around and without having to like find where everything is in a group, I can just figure out what, you know, all this stuff and then just delete it, which is really cool. And basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to make a selection and, um, there we go. You can hit shift and you can delete a couple out if you want to do that. So. Let's hit this one, then I'm gonna hit shift and click that one. All right, and we'll go that one, and that one, and that one. I can delete all those out. This might not be the fastest way to do this, but it will be accurate. So that's, that's good, that's fun. And now you can um, figure out you know, where you want these to click. I probably just made too many, that's why it's a little bit slow. And now, like that one will just delete out there, that one will delete, this one will delete. All right, and we're almost done here. Basically, I just wanna make sure that we are, let's see, this entire group, now we'll delete that and delete that one. Delete those two, there we go, and yeah, something like that. I think that looks good. So we're gonna take this in, let's delete that out, and now I'm gonna make all these into a selection. So we have all these different groups that we're going to bring in, and I'm gonna make all those into one layer, and then I'm gonna use that as a selection for my layer mask. So all the way starting top with group nine, I'm gonna shift click all these copies, and then I'm gonna hit command E. That's gonna merge them all together. Okay, so basically we did all that work. Uh, now we've got this shape. What I can do now is command click that, which is gonna turn this into a selection, make it invisible, and on this group, which is the group that I'm in, I can just click on my layer mask button. Let me hit command I there. And there we go, we've got that selection that I just had is now defining what is basically deleting me away. So that's why I did all this, because I wanted it to look like these squares were kind of deleting me away, which is very cool. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of, you know, clean up a little bit there. And doing this another way would have been, um, you know, it would have been hard to get this much precision doing this basically any other way. Okay, so I've got like basically all these squares that are, you know, kind of deleting me away. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab a new layer and I'm going to figure out about, again, what the size is. I probably could have kept one of these, but it's not a huge deal. All right, we're going to figure out about what the size is there. And don't worry, we're not going to create a ton of these again. Um, I want to bring this down and we're going to fill this with, you know, whatever color we want on like a layer mask that's going to be a little bit darker. Okay, or on a on a uh, 
adjustment layer. So let's grab an adjustment layer here. We'll go to curves. And now I'm going to drag that down. There we go. And you can see that selection we had just got quite a bit darker. Okay, so this is that selection there, and that got quite a bit darker. You can do the same thing. If you want to be accurate with it, you can. If you don't feel like being accurate, you don't have to be accurate with it. Um, but let's say we do, you know, we want to go ahead and fill that in, and maybe we'll move this around. And this is going to create some dark spots on my jacket. Let's just zoom in so you guys can see that there. This is creating some dark spots on the jacket. Let's just make these a little smaller. And then there's going to be those tiles that we have. Those are basically going to be a replacement right over top of these. All right, there we go. So it's like these are the holes that look all the way through my jacket. And then the other things will kind of go right over top of these to look like they're flaking off. All right, so this is actually kind of an important step, although it might not be as uh, like obvious that this is happening in the original. Um, this is kind of important. Okay, cool. So you definitely can see those dark a little bit. If they're a little bit too, like if they're not dark enough, what I'm gonna do is actually gonna make underneath that, I'm gonna make just a tiny bit brighter. There we go. We're gonna invert that layer mask and then choose something that's nice and big there to just paint that a little bit lighter underneath. So you can kind of see what this is doing. You can see that a little bit better. Okay, cool. So we've got all of our squares there and you know, it's starting to look, it's definitely starting to come together, especially, you know, with all this information down there as well. Now what we need to do is bring our squares in and get everything to where it's actually like, you know, uh, looking like these squares are kind of coming off my head and the jacket and things like that. So we're going to treat each of these layers individually and each of these layers, they're, they're in a group. So I can kind of click on a layer and then, you know what? I clicked on this layer and then it's moving all kinds of weird stuff around. I'm like, why is it doing that? I had this auto select turned on. So let's make sure to turn that back off and then it's going to actually do what you want to do again, rather than just kind of like, you know, I'll just do whatever I want to do. Um, there we go. So I'm going to just kind of move these around. Let's find the one that's going to work really well. Um, maybe like a square. See that square right there just looks great because it looks like it's pulling basically directly off my head. Let's just scale that up just a bit. All right. So that's looking like it's squaring right off my head. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make a new layer on this. I'm going to hit option command G, which is going to clip this layer. It's going to make this layer only visible where the underlying layer is also visible. So it's only going to show up where these tiles are. And basically what I want to do is I'm going to grab this color from my head and just start painting over here at like, you know, 90% opacity. And it's just going to start filling in with either that color or that hue, depending on what you want, how you want these to be colored. Um, you can change this blending mode of the layer to color. You can change it to, you know, just normal is what it's on right now. And if you do tr decide to use normal, I would definitely use, you know, a few different, um, like I'm kind of grabbing a few different colors and things like that. Okay. And then over here, I can just paint black. Let's just paint black at hundred percent because we don't need any of that information there. Okay. So we've got all this that's basically just coloring this information. I'm going to lower the opacity of that just a little bit so you can still see through the tile and see that definition in there. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit, I'm going to duplicate that layer and change this to color because I don't want that original like gold color coming through. I only got that color because they had that color at the store. Um, but now you can see with this layer, it brings in a lot of the detail. And with this layer, it changes the color to what we want. And then all you have to do really is go in here and clean up your layer mask a little bit. And there we go. Let's just click on that one. Clean up that layer mask. I didn't even, you know, any one of these, we have so many tiles to choose from that you're not going to be stuck with using any one particular tile. Like you can, you can definitely just erase some out the ones that don't really work for you. Okay, let's do that again and I'll show you guys how this works one more time. And then basically you just take that technique, copy it over and over and over again, and you can get, um, you know, the entire head or whatever, whatever have you, um, peeling out, which is very cool. All right, let's click on this layer mask. All these guys are going to go away. And I'm choosing these because it kind of looks like, you know, these little tiles could, could be falling away from this head. All right, let's make a copy of it. Again, I'm going to choose this color that's in my hair there and we're going to change this from normal down here to color 
All right, so that's gonna get us the color. And now we're gonna choose our brush tool. You could even use like a clone stamp tool. Like if you wanted to clone stamp some hair instead of you know the brush, like you could totally add in your own real detail into this sort of thing instead of you know instead of relying in on just using a brush like you know if i did that it would look like my hair was actually flying away which is kind of cool all right or my you know part of my face or something like that in this case i'm going to take my brush tool and just kind of bring it about 20 percent and make it look like it's you know part of my ears going away there we go so this is how we're doing it i mean basically you have all this little detail and it's totally up to you on you know how you're going to make these little squares look like it's these colors you can use your clone stamp tool you can use your brush tool but it's very easy to go from this which is straight out of the photograph to that and these are what's going to happen when it's going to make it look like it's actually peeling away from my body so that's pretty much it that's the end of this tutorial guys that's you know i'd basically be doing the same thing over again for 20 minutes again but that's the end of this tutorial oh and then you know basically on the bottom you would do the same thing here with the jacket and we'll pick up with the next version um with the jacket you just pick up with this grab these colors and you know start painting in some of the detail from the jacket and you can see how it looks like it's kind of floating in over there let's just make that a little bit bigger so you can see there we go i don't want to leave any stone unturned i just want to make sure that you guys don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over again for 20 or 30 minutes all right there we go so you can see this detail is kind of like adding some of that jacket detail right over top all right guys well that's it thanks so much for watching florin i'm going to continue on this and we're going to resume with the next tutorial showing you guys how to take this even further thanks for watching florin guys i'll florin you later la 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 la